Today is Saturday. It's my last full day here. I think I'm gonna do a quick stretch today and then probably like take some walks. <laughs> I'm just gonna eat the rest of my hot pot. Never thought I'd say this, but I'm actually kind of tired of eating hot pot. It's like the same thing every day. I guess my limit is three days of hot pot. Straight. And then I get sick of it. Yeah, so I'm going to fire up my hot pot. And I still have so many ingredients that I haven't finished eating. Like I bought way too many ingredients. I have these like random rashes. Yeah, I don't know if it's allergies or bed bugs, but... <sighs> I've only been here, I've only been here three days. I feel so like, cleansed and relaxed. Um, yeah, it's crazy. I didn't really know how much just like getting out of your regular routine and environment can make such a big change to your perspective and also like your mental health. Uh, I feel a lot better. Like I think before I came here I was really stressed and just like there's so many things so close in proximity that I had to like handle that I wasn't really able to concentrate on or I wasn't really able to fully relax even when I had some time off and coming out here I, I like physically couldn't do all the things that I felt the urgency to complete and to do and so I like just had to chill and I just spent most of my time journaling Hey guys, so there was an issue with the original audio in this clip and because of that I'm going to be doing a voiceover here. But in this clip I wanted to discuss my thoughts on platonic friendships. I feel like in media I see and hear a lot of discussion about romantic relationships and principles for dating, so on and so forth. And I get that part of the reason is that these types of stories are what sells. Perhaps discussions about regular friendships just aren't juicy enough to make as much money. Because growing up, I rarely saw or heard media discussing principles for just making friends. For one reason or another, I personally have never been great at making deep, lasting friendships. Growing up in middle school and high school, while I had friends from school to hang out with, they were really more so acquaintances. I was on friendly terms with most people, but felt close to almost no one. We had things in common because we went to the same school, had the same courses, and spent eight hours every day together. I mean, naturally, we had things we could relate to. 
But to be frank, before college, I never really had close friends who I felt really saw me or who I could relate to on a deeper level and vice versa. Don't get me wrong, I tried really hard. But just like any relationship, I don't believe you can force a friendship if people just don't have the same goals or the same take on life. And back then, I remember thinking that it was just normal for me to go through life only having acquaintances and not really making deeper connections with other people. But in college, I quite serendipitously met a few people who I felt really saw me. And it wasn't as difficult as I thought it was going to be. They just accepted me for who I was and let me be myself without making fun of me for being what I grew up thinking was either too quirky, too weird, or too much. They were simply there whenever I needed and I didn't have to try so hard to be accepted. They validated my feelings and were loyal to me if others tried to bring me down. And when I felt like I was overthinking something, they told me that it was normal to analyze a confusing situation. Growing up, because I never really fit into any friend group, I somehow had this idea that I wasn't complete yet. That rather, I was on my way to becoming who I was supposed to be. And that once I got there, then people would accept me for who I was. But finding these close friends showed me that I've actually always been exactly who I'm supposed to be and that I don't need to change in order to be awesome. And I'm very thankful for these people because their simple support increased my security and confidence so much just because they were there. Anyway, college ended and everyone went their separate directions. Some of my close friends are still just as close, whereas others have slowly drifted apart. When I saw rifts in friendships that were once so important to me, honestly, it scared me. I thought it was almost taboo if you couldn't maintain a friendship with someone who you used to be so close with. But the more I thought about it, the more I realized that it's actually quite normal for some friendships to naturally dissolve with time. Sometimes the glue that was holding you together, like shared circumstances or similar problems, is no longer there. As we get older, we change and develop in new directions. Goals and values shift, and it's okay. It definitely hasn't been easy, but as I've grown and seen more of the world, I've been able to make new friends who are compatible for me in my current phase of life. And so it is. At some point, we'll change again, and some friendships will fade. But I found that there will always be opportunity to meet great people if we let there be. And possibly the most important thing that I've realized is that it's all okay. I spent my entire childhood thinking there was something inherently wrong with me because I couldn't find a place to fit in. And even when I did, it always felt like there was a price to pay to stay in the club. But now, I see that the world is much bigger than I had originally given it credit for. Some of us find our group earlier than others and stick to it. Others, like myself, needed more time to find the right ones and are still looking for something. Honestly, I think I'll always struggle with making deeper connections. But if we focus on ourselves and try our best to be honest and genuine, I'm confident that eventually we'll all find the right people for us. And when we do, it'll feel right. Last day here. I have to check out in like 30 minutes. That's everything. I put everything in my car. Now, wait, let me just check upstairs again. That's everything. All right. I hope you enjoyed this video. Happy holidays to all, and I will see you in 2023.